guys, this is Rebecca Overstadt. In today's video, I'm going to be swatching the little mini Zodiac palette from uh, BH Cosmetics from the Virgo line. I actually really like this like color here. I kind of wish they would make some duochromes, but this is one of their standard nine uh, shadow palettes. It's got, um, it's basically half and half for the most part. You've got four shimmers and four mattes. And then of course the baked highlighter in the center. Um, this was one of the ones that I was uh, able to pick up during like the Black Friday, Thanksgiving, whatever day sale that they had. So I was able to get this palette for $4.80. So I have done about four or six looks with it so far. As you can tell, there's like some some shadows and whatnot uh, on the actual palette. But I have, I have used this. Um, I think the first sets of looks will go up uh, for this palette this coming weekend. So I'm actually filming this in December. Don't know when this will go up, but uh, we've got, uh, we're basically just a few days away from actual Christmas when I'm recording this, uh, but I don't celebrate Christmas. So what I'm gonna do is start off and swatch starting here, which is what I call shade one, and then going through to shade eight, and then shade nine will be last. So um, hopefully I don't freeze when I'm doing video outside for this because it is rather chilly here in Florida. It was like 80 degrees yesterday and when I woke up this morning it was like 43. So shade one is this like beautiful like jewel toned green shade. Then we have a matte, another matte, and a third matte. And I will be doing double swatches. And then if you want to see how these perform on the eye, I will also be linking in the cards up in the eye, as well as down in the description box, some of the looks that I've already done with these palettes, depending on when this video goes up. I should already have at least two videos, one or two videos of makeup looks done and posted. Now, if you look, this one here has like a black, it has like a black um, base to it. And then the emerald, shimmeriness is like this brown shade is looking a little patchy but it doesn't look patchy when I'm using it on the eye and then this one here is like a nice little peachy moment and this one is well that the color of my skin All right, now on to the next four shades, and of course my camera battery wants to flash at me. Now the shimmer shades in this palette, they feel wet to the touch. This is actually a really pretty like bronze and cranberry moment. Then we have another matte shade, and I swear on the eye, these are not as patchy looking as they are in swatches. This is like an orangey copper color, and then you have this beautiful like antique gold shade. And these shadows do, the shimmers work best with your finger. I got some chunk in the pan on that one. And I find the more I build this up, the more cranberry it actually looks. And see how that looks really copper now? I don't know why my camera is not focusing today. All right, and the last one is the center shade. This is a beautiful, like, bronzy highlight. I think this would be absolutely stunning on people of non-paper skin tone. <laughs> I mean, it just makes my finger look like I've dipped it in liquid metal. Which I've done before and don't do it. It's, it's really hot, especially depending on what metal you're heating up. They all have a different melting point. All right, 
now I'm going to take a couple of brushes that I use on a regular basis with these palettes. This is a Wet n Wild crease brush. I just color switched it. I'm going to go into this one brown shade because it looks super patchy on the skin. And I just want to show you that when you blend this out on the skin, it looks a lot better. And of course, using my non-dominant hand to do this makes it a little bit more difficult. But I did build it up a little bit. And again, I'll be doing video outside as well. And then I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush in this green shade. This is 100% dry. I'm going to do a dry swatch. I found that these shadows work so much better if you either use them with a wet brush or if you use them um, with your finger because as you can see I'm having difficulty getting this swatch to build up with a brush and it's like chunky in a couple of spots. So what I usually do is I have a little lid from my Pixie Glow whatever spray and there's actually now water on the counter. So I will just dip my brush in that. And then I usually just press it on my hand and then shake it once or twice to get the water off. Bubby, my cat is actually in my tub right now and he's snoring. So usually I'll pick like one side of the pan to get wet. And now that it's wet, let's see what the swatch does now. I don't know why my camera looks so darn blurry today. I basically swirled a brush in the pan to make it look like um, a paste almost, but I think my brush is a little bit too damp. But now you can see with two passes how much better that is with just a wet brush. So just going back in one more time. It's almost like a dragon scale green. All right, I am out here in what little sunlight there is, but I wanted to show you these shades. It's about 445 right now, and it's frappin' and cold. And I'm out here in a tank job. So anyways, this is the green shade in the palette that I was talking about. Oh, gosh darn it, I hate not having a viewfinder that works it's absolutely stunning but when you get it wet it does something different it turns more like emerald versus emerald versus dark and it is beautiful turn you into direct sunlight so here is the virgo palette swatched out and i will try and walk up to the house a little bit um, and do some video there as well. Alright, here I am in some more shaded light. See if I bring my hand too far forward you can see the direct sunlight. So, <laughs> here is the the palette in shade. And of course, it's focusing on the darn stuff behind my arm. There you go. Now you can freaking see it. My camera's been focusing on everything but what it needs to today. And I just got a nice, cool, freaking breeze again. Man, it's frapping cold out here. So there we have it. Outside swatches. I'm going back in before I freeze.
Well, the video in here, for whatever reason, um, looks rather dark and the colors just are not popping as I would like them to, like I normally would. Um, I will definitely be taking video outside, but I am Rebecca Oberstadt. This is a swatch video for the BH Cosmetics Virgo palette. This is um, of their like little Zodiac series. Um, I'm still missing three out of here, so if you know anybody that has Leo, Libra, or Scorpio, please let me know. Um, I would love to own those palettes. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a fantastic day or night, wherever you are. Bye.